Not all opposition was so cerebral. Many in authority, both in the church and amongst the gentry, opposed us, fearful of the crowds we drew. They carefully instructed working men and women to understand that we threatened their livelihoods, or that we preached a new religion, or even that we threatened the security of the country. And so, oftentimes, fueled with free air, they sat upon us. with love for these poor sinners who know not what they do. And give me grace to do your gracious will, that I might overcome evil with good. Sir, I will spend my life for you. Stay with me, and not a soul here will touch a hair of your head. I occasionally visited my brother Charles in Bristol. Charles, I've just completed a list of the society at Norwich. It consists now of 160 members. Thank you, my dear. But I take far more comfort in it now than when it consisted of 600. These know what they're about. Ah, and I'm writing to Mr. Hawes, the apothecary, or rather the apothecary and critic, who's recently published a most violent attack upon my little book of medical remedies, Primitive Physic. And I've written, Dear Sir, my bookseller informs me that since you published your remarks on the Primitive Physic, there has been a greater demand for it than ever. If, therefore, you would please to publish a few further remarks, you would confer a further favour upon your humble <laughs> servant. Hey, my dear, I like not people. Uh, let's change that first line. Uh, servants, master servants, servants, that has better balance, I think. Let's try that. Ye servants of God, your master proclaim and call.